A melting glacier in Alaska could lead to a catastrophic mega tsunami, unleashing a wave bigger than anything the world has seen in recent history. And scientists say it's not a question of if, but when. During a 2020 survey of the glaciers in Barry Arm Fjord, they noticed something alarming. The entire mountainside near Barry Glacier was shifting. Satellite images showed them why. Warming temperatures are causing the glacier to melt and retreat. With the ice no longer supporting the slope, it became unstable and began to move forward. About 400 feet between 2010 and 2017. The mountain started moving. It started deforming, kind of sliding down towards, uh, very slowly towards the ocean. That raises alarm bells. You know, that, that's, that's something that geologists, when we see something that's moving along like that, we think, oh, wow, this could fail at any time. If this slow moving landslide were to suddenly collapse in the fjord below, it could unleash a cataclysmic tsunami. How do they know that? Let's go back to 1958, when a 7.8 magnitude earthquake near the Lituya Glacier triggered a landslide that dropped millions of cubic yards of rock thousands of feet into the fjord below. People who heard it said it sounded like an atomic bomb. The impact caused a wave more than 1,700 feet tall. That's nearly twice the size of the Eiffel Tower. It obliterated coastlines and is still believed to be one of the tallest tsunami waves in modern times. Now back to the present day in Barry Arm. If this slope shears off, scientists calculate that a collapse could release 16 times more debris and 11 times more energy than the 1958 landslide and mega tsunami. Locally, as apocalyptic as it gets, it would be, you know, as devastating as anything you could imagine if you were sitting on the shoreline a few miles away. The scientists warn that a failure could be triggered by anything from an earthquake to extreme heat or prolonged heavy rain. And it's likely to occur in the next two decades, but could happen as soon as the next 12 months. They're closely monitoring land movement using GPS, radar, satellite, and aerial photography. 